Okay, hello guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we'll be talking about how to remove the OEM apps that come with your phone. Now, usually the phones that has custom UI comes with a lot of apps that you don't use at all. It takes up your storage space, it keeps updating itself and running in the background. So, there is a way to remove all these apps, but of course you'll need two things before you even start. The first will be is you need to root your phone. Okay, now I have a link below in the description on to how to root the Zenfone 5. Now this applies to any phone with a custom UI. So if you have a Samsung or a Sony or an HTC device, just Google as to how to root your phone. Root your phone and then come back to this tutorial. So the next thing that you would need is to download this EL File Explorer app. Okay, the file we, we are using this file explorer because it can handle root functionality and there is of course the root explorer which is better but you know it's not free now this is completely free and has all the features so we'll be using this all you need to do after installing is head over to the sidebar and look for this root explorer and check if it's on if it's off just switch it on it will ask for your root permissions just grant it and when you are done with that we can continue with the next step Okay, so the next step will be, you know, heading over to the Play Store and finding all your custom UI apps. Okay, in our ASUS Zen phones, we can swipe down to the bottom and find the Zen UI app updates, which will directly take us to the Play Store listing out all the apps that are present in the Zen, Zen UI. So find the apps that you want to uninstall or remove completely. Okay, so like I want to remove the music application because I don't use it at all. Okay, so what you can do, we'll head over to the music page and we'll click uninstall. Now this will just uninstall the updates that was installed to the application and not the application itself. So, but still we will do this so that any unnecessary data relating to the application does not stay back on our phone. So when you have uninstalled all the updates that have been installed in this custom apps, you are done with the Play Store. Okay. Now you head over to your ES file explorer. Okay, you can top up over there and go to device. So when you are on device, you would like to roll down to the folder that says system. Okay, and app. Now most apps are found over here. Okay, so the apps will be over here. Now if the if there is a certain system app that you cannot find in this list, then you just have to go back. Okay, and head over to private app okay and there will be the other apps that you couldn't find before in the other application in the app folder so all you need to do to remove the apps is you know you have to select the folders touch and hold this and select the folders okay and I want to remove the ASUS backup application which is it is not useful at all for me I want to remove ASUS music okay and I would also like to remove the other app that I can't find right now okay I have a phone call coming up I'll just never mind okay so when we have the applications that we want to remove okay we will just select them okay and we'll cut and save them somewhere out you know where we might want it so that if we want to restore at some point of time we might be able to restore it okay so we'll head over and i'll keep it in my backups and system apps backup and just paste it here okay so you know, wherever that comes up and just select and I need to give access to the Zen phone, the SD card. Okay, so when that is done, I'll just head over to backups, system apps backup, and select system apps backup. And as you can see, it has copied all the three files. Now as you can see you will get this crash errors because of course the apk files are removed so the as a last step what you will need to do is you know just restart your device and you will see that three system apps will be gone forever now if you ever need to restore it back you can just copy these folders back to where you have taken it from okay 
and just change the permissions to RWRR and that will again and restart your phone of course and that will again restore all your system apps remember you can also install your system apps directly from the play store without even needing to restore it so thank you guys for watching and if this video helped you please subscribe if you are new to my channel and if you want to see more videos on the Zenfone 5 please subscribe and thank you for watching this video i'll see you guys in the next one